Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to this training. Today, I want us to check on the process of installing online examination software for students in, at Mount Kenya University. So what you do first is you, you open your browser. And you go to assessment mku.ac.ke from there from there you can click on we have three we have the version for windows we have version for mac and we have the one for staff the staff is a web based so what you do if you're using windows you will download the one for windows if you're using mac you will download the one for mac so you click on download should take a few minutes. It's a very small file. It's about 90 MB. So as you can see, it's already done. Once, once it's already done. So you can, if you have WinZip, you can extract with WinZip. But if you don't have, you don't have to worry. With Windows, you can still extract. So if you go to downloads, you can see show click on show on the folder and it will take you to the download you can download you can extract here or you can may opt to copy the file let's say copy the file from here and put it on the desktop just for easy uh, arrangement so we have copied it's here this is a zip file so we need to extract. So what you do, you right click, then you extract to this MK online. You can extract here, but uh, you can still extract to a folder. So once you click extract this folder, so that all the files are all in the same. You click that, it will take a few seconds. As you can see, the folder has been created here. And what after extract and what it means now is just open the file, uh, the folder, and you click on MKU online examination. So that will load. Now note that uh, if the version that you're using has expired, the message will appear here. And what you need to do is just to, to go back and download the new version from the assessment.mk.ac.ke and you'll be good to go. Now to log in, use the same credentials that you used to log into the staff student portal. In case you have forgotten your password, you can you can reset by click forget. So once you click login to sign you in. It will send a code to your registered email, a verification code. And as it opens, as this, as we, as we open the code, if you get the code, on this other side, there are some instructions. There are some instructions or some guidelines on how to prepare for the exam by ensuring one you have stable power, ensuring your PC has a new mute camera or a webcam. You have stable internet. Ensure that uh, you have an active user account and you have your password before the day of the exam. Where you have, you have stable power supply during the examination. Or if you're using a laptop, you make sure it is fully charged. And before the exam starts, you'll be required to log in uh, 30 minutes before in preparation. But the exam will appear at that time. For example, if you log in at, at uh, if the exam is supposed to start at 8, you log in at 7.30, you, you will be able to see your exam there, but then the, the, the paper will only appear or the exam will start at exactly 8. So, but you're supposed to be there that means before. You can always communicate the visitors. Ensure your camera is on throughout. Don't block the camera. That made it to disqualification. And ensure that in case of any, any, any challenge, you can chat with the image data for assistant. We also have the technical support lines, which are 
also in the in the in the in the in the, in the app that is msupport.nku.se.ke and we both to assist you so the code expires after some time so you need to make sure you enter the code as fast as possible so the code has has been sent verify so once you verify the system will fetch data from your from your student management information system and you load that data on the proctor to allow you to proceed remember for you to to, to do an online exam you must have booked the exam you must have booked that exam and that exam must have been scheduled so of course your details will appear here your photo that appears in the student information system the year and the semester and the student group the course you're doing then there is the there is my exams this tab which has which has appeared here my exams you click on it it will check whether your microphone is on your network is on your camera is on i've disabled here just for for the purpose of this training but if then these are on then you get the papers which, which the unit that you have registered for and the start exam button will appear here if that exam is due for example you can click start then it will bring your details it will take your photo at this point in the code you'll be able to make sure you are you're seated uh, the camera is set up properly and then you start exam once you start exam to log into the e-learning or and then it will take you to test and quizzes where you just click the exam and start so that's how we do the installation and that's how you access the system for those who are using a mac macbook you this process is the same but a bit simple you just need to log in to just need to go back to the browser put the browser go to assessment to mku sorry go to assessment dot mku then you click download for mac it will take a few seconds because you can see the, it's a very small file, it's about 90 MB. So you open. Once it's complete, you can open and you just need to you can copy like we did you can put it on the desktop or you can just double click and mark will extract that file and this is the file that you need just open it and you follow the instructions just like the other the other the other one so it will open and it will once you log in remember you need to avoid uh, changing screens like if you're using Mac because all those will be recorded and you must not open any other any other any other window because that will be interpreted as a malpractice. In case you have forgotten your password, you can click on forget forgot password and you enter your admission number. Yeah and get reset code the code will be sent to your email registered email if you have not registered an email then you need to do that ensure you have created a, an official email because it's you have not then it will be sent to your personal email and if, if that is missing then if that is missing then you will but that then you can now change the password and use and use the password that you're familiar that you will be familiar with. So that's what I wanted to take you through today. 
and I wish you well as you prepare for your exams. Ensure you download the software, the latest software.